Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over the cryptocurrency markets and uh, try to figure out maybe what's going on for the week and maybe what's going on between now and maybe the end of the year in the crypto market. But I am going to be preparing myself to get possibly no guarantees, some good three X's in the crypto space. Yeah, you heard me say that right. It's a possibility that could be going on if you look for the right assets. But if you follow the herd, you're probably just going to sit on your hands maybe and hope that Bitcoin goes to $10,000. The problem with that strategy is that might not ever arrive. Right? So, what can happen in my opinion, is those people that are waiting for the $10,000 Bitcoin, once Bitcoin goes up a little bit, or if there's a little bit of bullishness in the crypto space, and Bitcoin's up at 23 or 24,000, then it starts peaking up above 25, then they start scratching their head and they start going, oh my gosh, maybe it's not going to go to 10,000. Right? So, just because the herd says it's going to 10,000 doesn't mean that it is. As a matter of fact, if you look at bottoms, just go through your chart. Go through your chart and go look. What was the uh, herd saying at the bottom of 2008? Was it saying the bottom here, the bottom here, bottom here? All, all these other charts. And normally if the, the, the herd and the media are saying one thing, it's usually just the opposite. So like Troll King said, I have... A low amount of followers and a low amount of views, contrary to an indicator. It's probably if you're in the S&P 500 and trading in the NASDAQ, if, you got the, if you're listening to the channel that's getting a million views, it's probably not the right information at this time right now. Just a, just a suggestion if you take a look at that. So I got my cup of coffee, guys. This is my second dose right here. Second dose of a large cup. And once again, they at Starbucks, I couldn't believe it. It's like eight o'clock in the morning and i was at starbucks and they had like this tray out they put this tray out like oh these are free samples and uh you know it had this thing over there like looked like a bread with some ham in the middle of it and then they had these little tiny cups with the chocolate on the bottom and probably some i don't know like high calorie chocolate and caramel in the bottom and on top of this little cup is about as big as a shot glass the the white stuff the cream and whipped cream on top of it to me, I was like, you know, at eight o'clock in the morning, people are going to be like chugging that stuff. And obviously they were because they set it out. They could go, oh, let me try that. And I'm looking at that. I'm just like scratching my head. I'm like, those things are like little freaking dynamic weight gains, you know, things like if you wanted to gain weight or something like that. That's what I'm thinking. It's like, oh, OK, if I want to like gain weight, go lift weights and and try to get a little bit bigger. That's what you would drink. They, you know, you get huge off that stuff. So not to say you're going to gain muscle. You know, obviously there's better stuff to eat. But I'm just thinking like, man, Starbucks, man, they really, really figured everything out. You know, they used to be just a coffee shop. Like just, okay, go get your coffee and maybe throw in some cream or maybe some milk, you know, something like that. They turned it in now into like little, uh, all their little drinks, like little miniature uh, not not miniature, some pretty big, you know, these weight gaining drinks to make sure everybody's like in a surplus at eight o'clock in the morning on their diet. Oh, yeah, here you go. This drink's not so bad. There's only 1100 calories in it, right? You'd be all right, man. Now you get energy throughout the day. Uh, all right. Just being a little bit facetious, guys. All right. So going over the markets for this coming week. This is Sunday. Trading in the crypto is uh is kind of boring right now. Oh, except if you're in Casper, right? Look at that. Boom. It's going up. You guys, you know, maybe you're right about Casper. I got to take a look at that. I'm actually trying to figure out which coins. I was going through the list of uh, like studying some coins. And I have two picks. I have two picks right now that um, I'm going to pick. That's going to be one of the uh, trend setters in the next move, if you will. Okay. My first pick. My first pick is going to be Metis. Metis. Okay. I looked at Metis. I like the supply. Everything is ringing good for Metis. Okay. Really good for Metis. I think Metis is going to be a trendsetter. Um, what I mean by that is you're going to get some pretty good price appreciation out of Metis. And then 
the other one right now I'm going to pick is a left zero. Okay. Now, why am I picking a left zero? One, the reaction, the reaction off the bottom. Let's take a look at the left, left zero. Okay. Let's see here. You see the reaction off the bottom. Nice reaction off the bottom and a nice three way move. And look at that. That, that uh, left zero, a tag right there at the bottom of my box. I'm going to get fourth wave area. So it looks good. And, um, not only, not only uh, the one thing that I don't like about Aleph Zero, it's you have limited places that you can get it. Okay, Mex Global and KuCoin and some other, I think Gate IO, and they got thrown in there a couple of ragtag exchanges that you can buy it on. However, you know there's a little bit of chatter going on in Aleph Zero. There's some pretty, uh, I guess you, if you will, maybe some heavy duty. You know, I don't want to say whales or anything like that. Some guys with a little bit of money, <clears throat> excuse me, some guys with a little bit of money that are going into a, a left zero. And I'm trying to see another coin that I'm going through the list. So I, I'm pretty good about that. Now, um, I was going to go over, uh, let me go over some uh, Cadena right here, guys. So people ask me about Cadena. It's like, why would you buy that? It looks like the bottom is going to fall out, Greg. That didn't make any sense. Here's the deal with some of these coins, okay? You you want to have a couple of different strategies because uh, some stuff. Uh, this is just my take on it, guys. So like on Cadena, um, you know, it does look like, hey, could it go down here? I'm willing to take that risk on Cadena um, because if there happens to be some bullishness, um, let's say the market turns around as an example, this, this could just take off. OK, so what's happened in the past is just say as an example. Let me use, uh, um, you know, Metis right here as as an example, right? Let me use Metis. So you're sitting here and you're waiting. So some people get, grab it right here and ride this up, which is which is uh, you know was a good play. But you know the problem is is that sometimes you can't ever get into it. Metis is a bad example. Let me go to uh, Injective Protocol, right? So I'm sitting over here. Look at this Injective Protocol. I mean, look. So I'm sitting here and uh, I was hoping for it to kind of do so like a left zero. I use a left zero, right? It came down into my box to the bottom area of the target. But see, this one isn't. So this one could just keep on trending and keep going and going. So you can miss it. So with the, with Cadena, it could happen here too. But I'm willing to take that risk. I don't do it with all the coins. I just have ones that uh, it's my personal preference. Which ones you want to do it with? Which ones do you are more comfortable doing that with? Okay. And, you know, I didn't know a lot about it. I just want to see this correct and then go. So the, the issue, what I'm saying is the issue is that they could just run and take off and you just, you don't ever catch it. Like a quant would be a good example. You know, some people are waiting for it and they were waiting for maybe quant to do a huge correction. And it never really did. It went up to 110, 115 and corrected back down 87. And I made that video. I said, hey, that's it, guys. I mean, load up at 87. If you missed the first round at 45, right? And now it's it's just taken off. And now maybe uh, Quant is going to come back around. Looks like it's going to finish up about 180 or 190, wherever it is. It's come back around and maybe you can get some more and ride it up. So that's the same thing here with the strategy on Cadena. OK, I don't think today is going to the Cadena has some issues with it. It's some inflation issues down the road. I'm not too concerned with it. But I do think some point Cadena is going to turn around, whether it ends here or comes to, to the box in this area. And it's going to do a shot. And I don't want to miss the shot, even with a little bit. So you take a small, small percentage of your portfolio. You're like, OK, I'm set right there. I'm taking huge risk. But you don't do it with all of them. I, I'm going to go through all these coins because now I got a, a portfolio set where all these coins are in the, in, the, in the negative. Okay. So you just kind of rotate them. You rotate them a little bit if you can and just find entries into this. And you're like, okay, write that up. That's kind of what I'm doing. I hope that makes sense with some of you. It just kind of depends on which coins that you feel comfortable doing that with and, and buying buying bottoms like some guys have done with uh with uh casper let's see here yeah here's casper you know some guys but like hutan this guy hutan man he's doing pretty good you're doing pretty good brother you know you're buying the bottoms on these coins and the next thing i know they're pumping you're pumping 
I guess I, I accuse you of like, oh, you must know somebody at the exchange like I was accused of over there when I did a thing. I said, beer was going to pump. The people came along and told me that I was working for some exchange. I'm not working for any exchange. I don't even think if you work for the exchange, you're like, hey, guys, you know, that uh, Pharaoh's going to pump. Markets don't work like that. Markets don't work like that, guys. Um, so let's go over this uh, for coming week. So what we have here is a 10-year treasuries, okay? And it has hit. It almost tagged the top of my box. Now, the deal is, if this is peaked, and it could have. We got a lot of bearish divergence right there, guys. You see that? That peak to that peak. So um, I'm really hoping. Now, this 10 years treasuries, you know, they don't move like a cryptocurrency. It could take some time. So maybe it's in a topping process, and it's going to start rolling over a little bit more, okay? You can see this is massive, massive move over the past couple years here for the 10-year uh, treasuries. And that's another five. So you got a five-wave sweep sequence in there, and then behind it, another one, two, third wave, fourth, and then a fifth. You can see that's a third wave peak right there. And it came back down, and it's got another peak right here that's creating that bearish divergence, even on the weekly, guys. So this is in a topping pattern, telling you more than likely a reversal a reversal in the market is coming. Just like I showed on the uh, the, the Qs, the uh, pro share shorts, um, the Qs for the NASDAQ, a topping pattern there. Uh, the thing is the, uh, the DXY. The DXY is showing some weakness right here. That uh, this move, this move doesn't have strength in it like it did before. You see these, you know, straight up, up straight, you know, straight, you know, more straight. And a lot of strength behind those moves. This is showing a little bit of weakness. Um, not to say that it can't come back down and blast back up like that. Um, but this could be in a topping pattern it's, itself too, guys. And so it remains to be seen. So that's just some of the things I'm be waiting for the week. I'm still in the uh, idea that um, there's going to be a melt-up, if you will, a melt-up into the traditional financial markets and then things are going to be going up with a short squeeze probably a huge short squeeze i'm not saying that the traditional financial markets are at a bottom it's going to take off i don't think so i think it's going to be up in those markets and then there's going to be another swing back around so that'll be your opportunity in some of these cryptos these smaller crap cryptos to make a three or a five x potentially depending on how long this is going to go and the, the traditional financial markets where it doesn't melt up short squeeze and then it's going to roll back over okay that's kind of what i'm expecting and i want to go over casper and um casper has a nice little reaction so far off the bottom and uh, you can see here's a five corrected it and it came back up over here it's looking like it's making a diagonal guys you can see here's a move and then a third wave back down and it's going up so casper is looking pretty good and i'm going to definitely add this to my list of watch coins so other coins i'm paying attention to let you guys know vulcan forge this one let me go through the uh injective protocol is looking pretty good and looking at a left zero is looking pretty good and um the coin oh luxo is looking pretty good obviously menace is looking pretty good so you have a variety of choices obviously you guys know about uh quant um you know, quant, let's go over quant. Take a look at quant here, guys. And, uh, you know, quant is probably going to finish up the old. Let's see here. Yeah, so quant is probably going to be coming up for a correction here pretty soon, a little bit. That might be another opportunity for you to get in on that. But quant is more likely going to finish this, guys. This, uh, this, channel right here right it's probably going to finish it this is quant sequence and one two three four okay it looks really good and then five it just take it a little while before it gets up into those areas the first area uh it, once it hits this mid trend it probably have some resistance in that area you can see it went right below it over here bust up above it went down below it and it's finishing off so that that'll be definitely be an area that'll probably have some resistance and stuff like that. So correction and then get up in there 
and then you see it slow up maybe is what I'm kind of expecting with quant and then boom, it'll go right up. And probably just based off the uh, the macro environment, like there's a 75 basis point rate hike coming, maybe 50, 25, maybe going in 2023, things will calm down a little bit and then quant will be in this area and then it'll just finish off the top of that uh, correction. But if you're in quant, you probably definitely want to have like this channel in here set up like that just to keep an eye on it. Um, you're going to have people all over Twitter. I already see them, you know, talking about quant going to 10,000, things like that. Quant is not going to 10,000 on this cycle, guys. Don't believe that. It's not going to be doing that. It's going to uh, probably max, I'd say, look, right there, 2760. And then if you're lucky, maybe uh, that area, 2760 max or something like that, you know, and it could stop at 597. Um, that's the reality of it. But it's not the end of the world. I mean, who cares? You know, like, okay, it, it, it stops right there, right? Okay, quant, fit, did I finish? Things aren't going as planned, blah, blah, blah. You know, start thinking about an exit and then you go into another coin. And, you know, let the quant people cry for a little bit and you're over here in another coin writing those coins up. Because there'll be another one. The good thing about the cryptocurrency market is if you miss one, there's always another one right around the corner that you can catch. That's a good thing about the cryptocurrency market. That's why you want to keep your uh, your coins in your list. You know, keep going. Okay, which one's ready to go? And um, you just keep doing that. And the other thing is too is that you know if you look at like say the Great Financial Crisis, right? If you look at the Great Financial Crisis when the S and P crashed, well, before the S and P crashed all the way down to the bottom, there was already coin, not coins, but uh, stocks. They're smaller cap. They're already in a bullish cycle when that was going on. So the same thing could happen in the cryptocurrency market. We're in a different environment. It's 2018. I know you have other big YouTubers are just expecting 2018 to be like to, uh, 2022 to be just like 2018. And we're in a different environment. You have layer ones. Back in 2018, you didn't have all that. You had Ethereum and maybe maybe some other ones. I, I don't, you know, I'm not really too sure, but it's a different environment. And you know, I think people are starting to realize, too, in the cryptocurrency market that, you know, Bitcoin is not the end all be all of everything. It's a, you know, it's the granddaddy of cryptocurrency. And then people are starting to realize there's some pretty decent coins out there that uh, are really, really, really good. You know, they're looking at them. There's like, yeah, I'm going to be in this one. So people are wising up, they're wising up, you know, than they were in 2018. They didn't expect Bitcoin is going to, you know, uh, take over and. The dominance is going to go up and the rest of them are going to crash. They're still expecting that. I listen to them. I'm like, okay, why is it not doing that then? I mean, like, why are you just consi always considering one option? Maybe there's another option in there. Maybe you can plan, you know? So probably what happened is that in the past, those same guys were trying to play the crypto market and got wrecked and those coins just tanked and they didn't think about like, Maybe that was a possibility. It could have a possibility here too. And that's why you have stop losses or exit strategies in case that does happen. But what if it doesn't happen? What if they do fly? What if they do do a shot like some of them? Like Quant. I mean, the same guys are looking at it. I'm looking at Quant on my screen going, well, you know, here's a 4X right here. Well, you're saying everything's supposed to drop like a rock. All right, guys, that's the end of my video. If you made all the way to the end. Do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.